What's up legends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking into Season 5 Reloaded for Modern Warfare Zombies because of course, with Season 4, we've been confirmed that the only thing we're getting is the Unstable Rifts. Now I know we're still a little ways from Season 4 Reloaded. It might be a little early to talk about Season 5, but thanks to Alan Third on Twitter who has been pretty accurate with his data mine information up to this point, we do know a little bit about Season 5 Reloaded. Now first, with Season 4 Reloaded, the one thing we're getting is the Unstable Rifts. These will be an instance that you'll head over to. It'll probably serve similar to a holdout contract from Outbreak where you'll head in to it you'll get a round based like feel completing waves of zombies and the idea here is you'll either perish along the journey or you'll be able to complete all the waves successfully with you or your squad and as a reward it will cool down all the schematics that you have on cooldown now alan the third on twitter said quite a long time ago or had posted quite a long time ago that we would not have a season four cutscene, and that he believes that the season five reloaded content will likely be the last for MWZ. Now, honestly, again, I think he's been pretty accurate up to this point with his data mine information. So I do believe this is fairly accurate since he said there was no season four cutscene and it has now been confirmed. There isn't even a season four story mission, so there probably wouldn't be a cutscene. But when it comes to season five reloaded, which will probably take place sometime toward the end of August, early September, we know we will be getting what seems like the last and final content update for MWZ before heading into Black Ops 6. Now with Season 5 Reloaded, we are likely getting a new story mission, as this has been data mined, where we would probably be confronting the entity. Now I don't want to go too far into the leaks itself, but it'll probably involve us destroying some stuff, maybe finding some relics, cleansing them, heading over to an entity like boss fight. I'm hoping we fight the entity as the boss fight for season five reloaded. I honestly think that would have us going out with a bang and that's kind of what I want with MWZ because I think, again, this is probably the final content update for it. But similar to the previous season missions that we've gotten where we go into a dark ether rift as our exfil, we head into another location. I am curious where this final location will be. Will it be the city? Will it be one of the other locations that we haven't been to? I don't really know. I'm sure it will be somewhere on Almazra, and hopefully it'll look really cool as they've done pretty good up to this point. Now, similar to the last two seasons, I'm sure there will be a boss fight at the end of this story mission. You'll complete the boss fight. A reward rift will pop up. Opening that will then give you your first attuned item. It is said to actually be Mr. Peaks for the season five. And the other three items that we know we will need because we've had four items for previous seasons are actually rumored to be the attuned items from the previous story mission. So it is very possible we will be headed back into the previous story missions at least to get these attuned items, unless for some reason you kept one in your stash. These items involve the toy giraffe, the drum, and the lock diary. So you'll have to go to the season one story mission to get that probably, season two story mission, and season three story mission to get the other three attuned items that we will need for this final Dark Aether Rift. So you'll complete your season five one, get your golden or attuned item there, which will be Mr. Peaks. Maybe you have to go back to the other story missions, unless for some reason they have us do a different process to reacquire those items. Now I know my plan with this in mind is to head back to those story missions, reacquire those attuned items from those story missions and keep them in my stash ahead of season five reloaded in case it is simply just getting those again alongside this new season five Mr. Peaks attuned item, taking it over to the new Rift location. I have no idea where this one's gonna be. I feel like they're running out of locations, but it does make sense this would be the last one because otherwise we're just gonna have Dark Ether Rifts all over the map. But you'll take the items over to those pedestals. You'll place them in, unlocking your season five Dark Ether Rift. We're very similar to past seasons. You'll just be using your sigil and elder sigils to enter that Dark Ether portal to then go in and complete these contracts that they choose to put in there, obviously to then get your new schematics. Now there is no confirmation yet of any new schematics. This is something I'm anticipating will return. I think maybe they're just running out of ideas or they just didn't have plans to do it in season four. And these are probably the last schematics that we'll get if we do get them. Now my hope personally, and I do want you guys to share your opinions down in the comment section below on what you guys would like to see for these final schematics, but I would like to see at least one more wonder weapon and Perkaholic. If you guys are unfamiliar with what Perkaholic is, it would be basically a schematic that you would pop once you entered the match. It would give you all of the perks at the exact same time, all at once. Even if it had a much longer cooldown period, just like the Flawless Ethereum Crystal, although we know that's kind of stupid, I would be completely okay with a 72 hour cooldown time, as long as they made it available in the game. Now again, there has nothing been data mined about any of these schematics, so it's just as all speculation when it comes to those. The only thing that has been mentioned via the leak is just the story mission, the Dark Ether Rift Unlock Easter Egg via the four items, and pretty much that's it. After that, we will have to kind of wait and see what we actually get a hold of, and we still just have to wait and see to see if the data mined information lines up correctly. 
I think it is likely that this is going to be the final content update for Modern Warfare Zombies. And if you want to continue your zombies journey with new and refreshing content, you'll probably have to get Black Ops 6. Now, of course, there is one last thing that we can't forget as far as the new content is concerned, and it would be the new Warlord. Now, I do think there is at least one Warlord left that has not been released that was leaked way earlier in the game's life cycle, known as Maestro. Who knows where on the map this is going to take place? If you have any idea, let me know down in the comment section below. But I do think there is at least this one last Warlord set to release here in season five reloaded again everything is kind of lining up for this to be the end of the road i'm sure we'll get our final cutscene for the game i'm sure ravenov will end up being dead or something crazy like that similar to how we kind of got a foreshadowing earlier in one of the other cutscenes. who knows what's going to happen in season five reloaded personally i am looking forward to it i'm just trying to have as much fun with this game as possible even though i know that we're almost at the end of the road I am looking forward to Black Ops 6 Zombies. I'm overall excited for what Season 5 Reloaded has to offer. But that's going to wrap things up for us here. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.